Hello and welcome to Verba. You may be able to tell from my dulcet tones that I am not very well and haven't been actually for quite a few weeks. This got me thinking about the stress that singers go through when they have to perform and they are ill. So I thought I'd share with you some of my essential tips for dealing with illness while singing. Tip number one, make sure you don't actually have swollen vocal folds. Most colds will not affect your vocal folds directly, especially in the early stages. So it's important to know whether your voice is healthy or not. The way to check is to do a siren, and if the siren breaks, then your folds are swollen. It would sound like this. Sing. Now you see how in the mid-range my voice kind of just goes completely quiet and I've lost a huge chunk of my range. That means my vocal folds are swollen and I cannot bring the vocal folds together at a certain speed. Therefore, for me to sing when my vocal folds are like this would be very detrimental. So if you do have swollen vocal folds, my advice would be try not to sing if you can help it, but if you have to, then in the interim between having to perform and now, no singing, no speaking, no whispering, no voice production of any type and no testing. What we tend to do when we're ill is constantly just keep testing, see if it's come back, see if it's there, see if it's still hoarse. Don't, you have to give your voice as much rest as possible for that swelling to go down. If you keep smacking those folds together, then they're just gonna to continue to swell. Tip number two, fluids. Water in this scenario is your friend. You cannot drink enough fluid to help flush this through, but also to keep your voice and throat hydrated, especially if you're coughing a lot, you're sneezing a lot, you're losing a lot of fluid. So lots of fluid. Remember, it takes four hours to hydrate your voice from drinking water. And you can put into it things that help with your symptoms like honey, lemon, ginger, those kinds of things. Remember also that tea, coffee and alcohol, anything with caffeine in is a diuretic and therefore dehydrating. So avoid them if you possibly can. Besides drinking, steaming is incredibly helpful and I would steam two or three times a day or as much as you possibly can. Um, I actually bought myself one of these. Uh, this came from Boots and it's just one of those ones that you stick your face in like this. I don't actually use that because, um, yeah, I don't like it making my face all moist. So I just take the top off, I put the hot water in, and I just inhale it through there. Um, and that way I know the moisture is going straight to my throat and to my vocal folds. Really, really helpful. Steam, 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 especially just before performance. Tip number three, avoid medicine. If you go to a pharmacist and tell them that you're not feeling very well and you have to sing, what can you do? They will always suggest things like throat lozenges, sprays and um, decongestants, those kind of over-the-counter cough and cold remedies. The problem is, if you're going to take something that numbs pain, then that means you're no longer in control of what's going on. Pain is your friend in the sense that when you have real pain here, you know you have to stop. It's really important. If you're taking lozenges and sprays and things that numb that pain and you sing through vocal pain because you're not aware of it, you could be doing yourself some serious lasting vocal damage and that's not worth the risk. And the problem with things like decongestants is they dry you out completely and we all know that a dehydrated voice is really not healthy. And again, if you sing on dehydration and pain and these kind of things, it is going to have long lasting effects. So it really isn't worth it. I would suggest take the tablets when you don't have to sing, but then when you're coming round to the day of singing, avoid them. Number four, sleep. Sleep is your friend. You cannot get better unless your body has the time and the energy to fight the infection or the virus. So clear your diary of all the other things that are unnecessary and rest up. Tip number five, use your body. 
So you're feeling unwell, the last thing you wanna do is be really energetic. But what happens is because we're feeling so lethargic in our bodies and ill, we end up pushing harder from our throats and forcing our voice through. So it's important to particularly focus on energizing the body, making sure we're using our support muscles, our stomach muscles, that we're keeping our head aligned and really engaging in what we're doing rather than allowing the throat to do all of the work. This is usually why a lot of people who have a cold end up having a hoarse voice afterwards. It's either through coughing or through forcing and straining their voice to their throat because they have such a lethargic body. So energize, warm up your body, even if you don't feel like it, get it going and support your voice. And finally, tip number six, huff. Now this is something I came across while at the Royal Academy of Music. Coughing is really bad for your vocal folds because when you cough, you literally smack your vocal folds together really hard. And that can be very traumatic for your vocal folds. It's like if you were to clap for a long time, and really hard, you would actually get quite red, sore hands. It's the same for the very delicate skin on your vocal folds. When you're coughing and clapping it together hard, 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 it swells. If you continue to cough on top of swollen folds, then the skin starts to harden and that's when you get things like nodules. And worst case scenario, sometimes it splits and bleeds when you get vocal hemorrhaging. Um, what you can do to try and avoid coughing, because obviously if you have the need to cough and clear your chest, then you have to cough. But what you can do is do it without closing the vocal folds. It seems very odd and I tend to try not to do it in public, but you just keep your vocal folds open, don't make any vocalisation, but just try to clear your throat through a hard breath. It feels really weird but it will clear that stuff that needs to be cleared without smacking your vocal folds and it's much healthier for your voice when you're suffering with a cold. Um, I hope that you feel better soon for those of you who are watching this for some sort of advice on your current predicament. Otherwise, I hope you find this helpful advice for the future. Good luck and when you're better, enjoy singing. <laughs>